From being involved in one of the biggest scandals in the history of family channels to being investigated by authorities, this is the story of a couple that adopted an autistic boy, used him for internet fame, then gave him back. The Stauffer family was composed of Micah and her husband James, along with their four biological children. Like your ordinary vlogging channel, they shared everything that happened in their lives. Vacations, grocery trips, shopping sprees. But more than anything, their audience was drawn to the dramatic and intimate moments that they shared with them. Pregnancy updates, struggles of parenthood, even going as far as vlogging the birth of their children, live. Major companies began sponsoring them, they had multiple thriving YouTube channels which were making them money, but this was the beginning of the end. Micah and James got a taste of the high life. They wanted more. More views, more money, more fame. On July 6, 2016, Micah released a video in which her and her husband James revealed they would be adopting a boy from China. We're gonna adopt. Adopt from China. We are gonna be adopting a little boy from China. They were going to take the viewers on the adoption journey with them by documenting the process. A quick search on YouTube would show you just how well these kinds of videos do. Micah began covering the journey about a year before they adopted the boy. Countless updates, photo reveals of the child, information on the medical diagnosis, a total of 27 videos were made prior to the adoption date. In one of the update videos, Micah said the doctor told her there was going to be severe medical conditions and warned her about adopting him. It's going to be severe, this is going to be a lot, we don't know what unknown elements could be. They decided to go through with it anyways and stated, their son is non-returnable. This is important to note for later. If anything, my child is not returnable. From March 2015 to June 2017, she gained over 185,000 subscribers. Fast forward 4 months to October 2017, and it was now time to pick up their boy from China. As they called it, Gotcha Day. This would also become their most viewed video with over 5.5 million views. The whole adventure was recorded. The plane ride, the train ride, stepping foot into the agency, their first hug with their son. All of it. It was also at this moment that they began uploading videos of the process to their joint channel, The Stauffer Life. The channel grew from 80,000 to 131,000 subscribers in just that month alone. In addition, their monthly average views went from 200,000 to 2.5 million. Huxley was the star of the show. Every thumbnail had his face in it, every title had his name. Every few months, Micah would make update videos on how he was doing. If you are on my channel and you are here for the Huxley content, Give this video a thumbs up. This is where things began to get a little twisted. In between the vlogs and the adoption updates, Micah and James started sharing everything possible regarding the boy. At first, they would share videos which were rather innocent in nature. Huxley learning how to talk, how he's adjusting to his brother, his first time talking on camera. But then the videos became extremely personal and private. They were sharing visits to the doctor at which Huxley had meltdowns. They shared details of their son's medical diagnosis, speech therapy classes, are you gonna go speech therapy? His MRI scans and results. <laughs> the titles of these videos were also intense and carefully crafted, often involving his medical conditions, health scares, or simply clickbait that brought the viewer in. The stronger an emotional response, the more views they got, the more money they made. Micah used herself for clickbait purposes as well. This methodology didn't just end at Huxley. In one video, she and her husband James were in the car with their children in the back. She began to cry hysterically, stating that her lymph nodes have swelled up and she's scared that it could be something serious. Micah then said she visited a doctor and he told her it's either nothing or it could be lymphoma, which is a form of cancer. He's like, it's either nothing or it could be lymphoma. The video prolonged with her and James crying in the front seat while their kids were in distress trying to comfort their mother. I don't even want to publicize this possibility, but... But she did, because it meant views. She then used this topic for multiple videos afterwards. I was telling him earlier you had, like, your doctor call you, but you haven't had your appointment yet. And I was what do you mean? You about your MRI. Oh, yeah. So the MRI came back normal, which is fantastic. She also visited several doctors to get multiple opinions, and of course this meant multiple videos. I had a second opinion on my lymph node. I just want one more opinion. I had already seen a couple um, primary care doctors that were not worried about it, and my allergist wasn't worried about it. I went and saw this ENT that, like I said, a lot of people had recommended to me, and he was 100% confident that it was absolutely nothing. Periodically, they would toss in a video talking about adopting again. I don't know, I have agreed that we are going to be going back to China to adopt another child. I do feel like it's in our heart to do it one last time. We are currently talking about another adoption. On August 5th, 2018, 
Micah made a post to a Chinese adoption group on Facebook. We are praying about adopting again, and my husband wanted me to ask, what special needs would you consider minor or relatively easy to manage that most people wouldn't consider easy? She wanted a special needs child that in reality was easy to take care of, but seemed like a lot of work to the public eye. They began purchasing fancy cars, Range Rovers, Mercedes, high-value jewelry, vacations to a variety of countries too. To add to that, they purchased a new home which was valued at 670000 exactly one year after adopting Huxley. In that first year, Micah gained nearly 400,000 subscribers too. James had his own personal success as well, the Stauffer Garage, where he cleaned cars and shared detailing tips, often showcasing before and afters of the vehicles he cleaned. Things began to escalate just one month after they moved into their new home. Micah revealed major news to her family and her audience. <laughs> baby number five was on its way. However, just a few weeks after the baby announcement, Micah and James had another announcement to make. Puffy eyes, no makeup, baggy clothing. And then we finally got the prognosis and diagnosis for him. He did indeed have de autism. He had level 3 autism, which is considered the most severe form. By this point, Huxley was appearing in less and less videos. James uploaded a video addressing the topic. Huxley goes in his room to lay down at 7.30 because I know people have been asking. Huxley is special needs and in our house he requires an extra amount of attention. A lot of the times our attention is taken by him. For him, night time is like 7.30, a little bit earlier. And then we let the other kids stay up a couple extra hours just to hang out in our bedroom, watch a movie. This is where the story takes a rapid turn south. His last YouTube appearance was on December 22nd, 2019. Things became super suspicious for regular viewers. The person behind fan account Micah Stauffer fan tells BuzzFeed News that when she asked about Huxley's whereabouts, Micah blocked me immediately. One month later, Micah and James go on a vacation to Bali and take only their youngest child, the newborn. In the time frame between February and May 2020, Micah continues posting photos of her and her biological kids. Rumors continued circulating the web that Huxley was abandoned, until they were no longer just rumors. A video titled, An Update on Our Family, was uploaded to their channel on May 26, 2020. This is by far the hardest video James and I have ever publicly had to make. We haven't made this video yet, it's because we've been trying to protect his privacy. After pouring our guts and our heart into this little boy, anything that happened in the home that was hard for Hux, that's not fair for me to put out there publicly, that's his privacy. The agencies, multiple people have been allowing for Huxley to spend time with some different people to make the perfect match and fit for his now new forever family. They said this news wasn't revealed sooner because they wanted to protect his privacy, but they shared every possible detail of his life leading up to this event. There was no privacy to begin with. So where exactly did they send the boy? Several days later, the Delaware County Sheriff's Office released a post addressing the situation. The Delaware County Sheriff's Office has received several inquiries regarding the welfare of a local 5-year-old child, who was recently given up for adoption. This child is not missing. All that was known is that Huxley was not missing. This infuriated their audience, but what really ignited the flame was the fact that all videos involving Huxley were still up and monetized. To no surprise, they received immense amounts of backlash. Micah removed all content with Huxley from her channel and their family channel. Videos amounting to 34 million views were deleted from the Stauffer life and 11 million views from Micah's personal. Subscriber counts dropped drastically too. Not all stories have a happy ending, but believe it or not, this one does. On December 9th, 2020, an Instagram user shared a series of two photos. One was a faceless portrait, and the other a photo of her holding Huxley in her arms, accompanied by a detailed caption. You, Lin, our little moon shining through the forest of trees. Words can't express how grateful and lucky I am to have the privilege of being your mama. The paragraph below says, We for sure don't celebrate the fact that adoption equals the loss of ties to his first family. What we celebrate today is his freedom from the system. Huxley was adopted by a lady which also adopted several other children. Based on the few available photos and videos, he is accepted and loved for who he is. He is safe. 